Thank you, Mr. President. As some of you know, New Jersey's unconstitutional laws are what made me decide to run for office last year. Then in June, the U.S. Supreme Court told us what we should have already known. The Second Amendment cannot be ignored because New Jersey's majority party doesn't like it. For those of us in this state who support the Second Amendment, the Bruin decision was a case won, a rare win. Unfortunately, this bill before us today not only cancels out that win, it puts us further behind. The bill creates complicated and expensive process to get the carry permit, then denies the permit holders the ability to even use the permit they just worked so hard to get. That's not hard enough. It also exposes well-intentioned people to potential years behind bars, essentially just for the crime of not being a lawyer. And it denies victims of domestic violence and other vulnerable people the ability to protect themselves in the face of real danger. Even the lucky few who were able to demonstrate the justifiable need under our old laws won't be able to carry their firearms with any, any more if this bill passes. The bill also raises fees about a thousand percent for all gun owners. Yes, a thousand percent. Personally, I do not understand what that has to do with Bruin or the fear mongering about more people carrying guns in public just seems to be another attempt to harass law-abiding gun owners and discourage them from exercising their rights. In all five committee meetings on this bill, legislatures were educated on the fact that carry permit holders are not a threat. Statistically, they commit crime at a lower rate than even police officers. Even after sitting through that education, every single Democrat voted to deny the people of New Jersey their rights. I'm proud to say everyone on my side of the aisle has voted no. We heard arguments that we have to pass the bill to find out if it's constitutional. But with all due respect, we know it's unconstitutional. Justice Thomas was clear. The Second Amendment prohibits lawmakers from defining sensitive places to so broadly that they eviscerate the general right to the public to carry arms for self-defense. That's exactly what this bill does. Although it fell on deaf ears at the time, I repeated what I said when I testified against this bill in committee. All of us have sworn an oath to the U.S. Constitution. When we took office, and many of you have done so multiple times, there's no question about it. A yes vote on this bill is a violation of your oath. I urge you to vote no. I know I will. Thank you.